Okay, um, coming back for the install. I'm gonna see. I got this in the mail today, so we'll see what it does. If it looks right. I don't know if it's got the plug-in on there. If I'm gonna have to attach the plug-in to it, it's like it has it. Thing looks right. Looks somewhat similar. Get the end of this quick here. This has the same markings. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's a good sign. <laughs> I like it when it uh, looks the way it's supposed to. Especially when you don't do this for a living, so you can't. You know, quickly come up with an alternative plan when it don't work out right. So, all right, so we'll just lay this right over here, turn this over, and put this back on. Pressure down on this, from what I understand. There it goes. All right, making sure it was uh, turned up the right way, the way it was before. I'm gonna put my C clamp back on it. this end down into the well and try to put this back the way it's supposed to go. All right, so again, we had to pry because of the tightness of it. I don't know how much I'll have to pry on this one. Well, put it right in there. That's good. All right. Uh, one thing I didn't do is put my rubber piece on. I did note that I would have to do that. So it looks like we do it now. Hopefully it'll just slide right on. And all right, that's good. The holes seem to line up. This might be easier than I thought. I hate to say it like that. Every time I do, it seems like something goes wrong. But we're going to try to put a bolt in. So excited I got my motor today. Um, I wasn't sure if it was going to make it, and it said it had been sent to a different facility. Um, but when I got home, it was sitting on the porch. So. Was it was a win? All right. All right. So she should be back in working condition. Just tighten this down. So there's three bolts. Uh, if you watch my other video, you'll see that I took them out. Three bolts here. After figuring out how to get the arm out, that took the majority of time. Really not very hard. And now, putting it back in was a lot easier. It's bolting right up. There's no fitment issues. Um, I got this off eBay, so. Hopefully, it'll run good. I don't usually get them off eBay, but 
It was about $30 cheaper than anywhere else. I may regret that later. Right now, it was quick and hopefully it does the job. One good thing about uh, Jeeps that are as old as mine is the fact that <laughs> where things sit, it left a depression in the material, the rubber piece up here, the window, I guess the window um, seal. And so I can see exactly where this uh, line is supposed to lay. So it should even hit just like I say that and I can't find the hole. There it is. No place. Okay, so she's back on there. Um, the Haynes manual said you would have to use a pair of channel locks on this piece uh, to put the arm back together, but it popped back on there um, seemingly completely down. So hopefully, if uh, as long as the wiring works out, this should be done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm not going to put the bolts into the um, the shield, the little piece that holds the windshield up, or, and I'm going to show you that this time, the, um, there we go, the roll cage. So there was the two bolts that you were supposed to take out. Uh, it goes the roll cage to the windshield. Uh, so I did show you I thought it was in the camera it wasn't so now there you, there you go but hopefully everything will work out here so I'm gonna put the windshield up get the tools out of the way and then I'll finish this video up okay so I finally got the um, the plug plugged into the old um, female outlet it took a little while. I, it was the same size. Everything was the same size. I don't know if the pins being slightly different. That's the only thing I couldn't measure. Uh, but it finally went in and locked into place. Um, so I've tried it out. I'm going to go ahead and show you. Uh, I had no windshield wipers at all. They had been slowing down for about a year. Uh, and I kept putting it off. And one night uh, when, the, when it was raining, uh, my windshield wipers decided to give up the ghost. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn them on and let you see this. Alright, so they seem to be working really well. Of course, this has got the uh, uh, YJ distinctive pattern. They uh, lay straight up on the uh, right in your field of view. I like it. There's no other Jeep like it to me. So, um, but the windshield wipers work, and that's what we were trying for. So I hope that this has helped you both the replay, uh, the removal, and the reinstall. I'm going to put the bolts into the windshield, and. Uh, if you uh, like, please give us a thumbs up. Thanks.